What up, peeps? KG Drift in the building, and I am back with some more Last of Us tips and tricks. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get kills much faster on Last of Us. So let's get to it. So, number one on the tip on getting the kills much faster is the weapons. And the requirements are the weapons I recommend you using a Frontier Rifle and also a Magnum. Why should you use those two weapons, as my, most people might ask why? Well, the Frontier Rifle is probably one of the most strongest up in the class range when it comes down to rifles. There is, I mean, the semi-auto rifle is pretty powerful, and um, the full auto rifle is really, really powerful. But the Frontier Rifle is two shots, while the semi-auto rifle is three shots, and I think the full auto rifle is three. It, may, it might be three or fours, I, I don't really know. But the Frontier Rifle is probably one of the strongest out of those classes when it comes down to um, when it comes down to rifles. And the Magnum is the strongest pistols in the game. No, pistols. Pistol in the game because it's due to the fact that um, I mean three a 357 Magnum is very strong and powerful I mean I think the Enforcer uh, can match the Magnum I'm guessing cause I think the Magnum is three shots to kill I'm not really sure but the Enforcer has a really good fire rate as so as the 9mm but you really need a lot of gunfights with 9mm and the Enforcer just due to the fact that they have good um, fire fire rates but the enforcer is pretty fast also well it's pretty powerful itself also so it might be the most second powerful weapon in the game maybe the third maybe the first I don't really know it kind of varies on different opinions of the guns but the 357 magnum or just the magnum in general is probably the revolver as they call it in the game is probably one of the best in my opinion and it works well with this class just because is that the frontier rifle is very very strong it's two shot kill but if you shoot them once with that and then you switch over to, uh, to the magnum or to the revolver it's automatically down and it has its subsidal to it like it kind of it kind of varies on different moments where you can act but if it comes down to long distance you can shoot them with that rifle with the frontier rifle and they come out with your magnum shoot them right there and it's automatically down but like i said it can vary on different different points and different parts of gunfights because sometimes your enemy might have his weapon upgraded to one to upgrade one or maybe upgrade two so it kind of makes it, so it'd be easier for him to kill you faster than you can for faster than he can kill the one you can kill them and because it kind of slows down on when you switch over to different very weapons i guess it goes fast just based on how you upgrade them or how, like what amount of upgrade because i think the upgrades affect them how fast you swipe or it might be a perk i'm not really really sure but um to make, to, like I said, to probably make the switchovers faster, I guess there is a perk. If there is, you could, guys can comment below and let me know which perk it is. But um, if you upgrade it, you might be able to do that as well. But the upgrades will increase the fire rates and also reload speeds. And the fire rates is one of the most important just due to the fact that the revolver has a pretty slow fire rate. It's maybe strong, but the fire rate is pretty, pretty slow. So it might kind of hold you up in your gunfight just depends on what type of weapon that you're in that the enemy does have like if you have a full auto rifle you may be fucked especially when it comes down to close distance if you don't have the magnum or the frontier rifle at least boosted up to the first upgrade or maybe the second upgrade but the frontier not the frontier but the full auto rifle will, will basically almost win those guns by just due to the fact that it has a very, very fast fire rate. Or not only that, the semi-auto rifle will probably win that gunfight also when it comes down to close distance if they upgrade it up to like 2 or 3. Just due to the fact that it has a really, really fast fire rate. But you don't have to be too scared about that. It, it all just varies on different you know, different points of gunfights, what the ranges is, and things like that. But Frontier Rifle and the Revolver is like best friends. And you get that one kill with that, get that one shot with a frontier rifle and then get that and then switch over to the revolver bam it's an automatic two shot kills automatic down or it could be the other way around you can use the revolver first and then switch over to the frontier rifle bam and get that kill right away so as you guys know this like this is probably one of the best this is probably one of the op classes when it comes down to getting that kill quick and continue on with your gunfight so i recommend you guys using that and maybe when you upgrade it up to maybe upgrade it up to two or one the gun might be well not might be it will be the most one of the most op guns in the game well oh well in a match so you might get those kills head on you don't have to worry about you know taking three shots and things like that it's automatic two shots switch over to the thing it's, it's very very fast so switching over to your sidearm is quicker than you know punching and stuff like that so get that get that first shot with that frontier rifle switch over to the magnum it's automatic down or it could be the other way around you just decide which one you want to use so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's really little it's pretty short but i just got i just thought it was a really good some people might have known this but i just thought it was a really good tip just to let other people know who don't know it and just to help you guys out with your gunfights because i know flashless can be very very frustrating due to the fact that you can't really get that kill on time sometimes because a lot of people you know tend to run away get the cover and things so it makes it very 
very, very hard. Also, if you guys want to learn uh, learn a little bit more about the Frontier Rifle, I have made a review video about the Frontier Rifle. It will be in the description below. And not only that, it will be on the end annotations right here on the screen. So you guys can check that out. I'll show some support to that video. If you guys want to know a little bit more about the Frontier Rifle, I will be doing more reviews on different weapons. Just so you guys can get a little bit of feel on how the weapons work and how they act and how much damage it takes and how much it takes to kill the enemy. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Show some support. Like this video. Also, subscribe if you want to get more lots of those tips and tricks. Hope you guys enjoy it. Live life. Enjoy it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.